welcome welcome everybody nice to see you gathering around this friday evening my name is gibson and you are on the most iconic show in the world who wants to be a millionaire first things first ladies and gents i'm going to talk you through the game what is going to happen how to participate well pretty much you know what is what so yeah the thing is we prepare the 15 questions we need to go through obviously there's going to be the four possible answers a b c or the d if you're going to fail one of the questions, unfortunately, you'll be eliminated, but you still can sit down and just relax and just go through all the questions together with the rest of the place and just to try to understand all of the physics and mechanics because next time we're going to be back on Friday. But once again, 15 questions, 4 possible answers, and also you're going to have 15 seconds to actually choose the right answer. Also, don't forget about the lifelines. If you struggle with one of the questions, you can try to use this specific lifeline, which is going to be a 50-50, which two of the questions will be eliminated, which is going to be easier to pick the right one. And then, there's going to be the help of the audience. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, on this note, let's just start it off. Best of luck. And pretty much the way we go. If you're ready, well, let's start the game. So the question is, Athens is the capital of which country? Italy, Greece, Spain, or the France? Well, as you pretty much know, with the very first couple of questions, which is going to go nice and easy, well, there you go. So this is going to be the first one. Which one is which? The choice is yours. And I guess the correct answer is... <laughs> Somebody said Russia. That's a good question. I mean, that's a good answer. But the correct answer, obviously, is going to be the Greece. Very well done. All of the 517 players actually who answer this specific question. Let's go to the question number two. Good luck. What shape are the men's lifesavers? That's going to, that's going to be the good one. Ring, cone, square, or the cube? Well, there you go. That's going to be one of them as well. Um, Everybody likes sweets, and there you go. This is going to be the second question. Right, A, B, C, or the D, the choice is yours. And the correct answer is... And that's going to be a ring. Okay, well, there you go. Well, pretty much everybody, everybody's familiar with those specific sweets. And without further ado, let's jump in to the third question. Good luck. Which planet is notable for its rings? Oh my. Mars, Venus, Mercury, or a Saturn? Oh, there you go. <laughs> this is going to be quite an easy one as well. Even my kid knows all the planets, but there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, best of luck, and let's check it out. It's going to be the correct answer. All right. Yeah, well, not everyone indeed. Uh, player 57. Well, I wish you best of luck at the next ones, though. So, yeah, the correct answer is that's going to be the Saturn. Very, very nicely done, everybody. Well, the Saturn, all the rings around, all those um, flying rocks, I would say. Let's move on to the next question, guys. St. Petersburg was the capital of which country from 1703 to 1918? Is it going to be Canada, Australia, Russia, or Ukraine? Okay, well, a bit of a geography uh, with the questions. This is going to be quite interesting to know which one is which. Somebody said Greece again. Well, not too bad. I really like the way you guys are trying to make it more fun and participating in the chat. Well, the correct answer is it's the Russia, everyone. 344 players got that one right once. Well, St. Petersburg. Uh, yeah, it was part of the Russia before. Well, no, I mean, until now as well. So yeah, good luck everybody with the next question. What was the first name of the 90s? South African President Mr. Mandela. Is that Norman? Is that a Norbert? Is that Nelson? Or is that a Nolan, guys? Well, there you go. One of those four names, surely. You heard about it. You heard about something. You heard about the theories and stuff. Well, there you go. The correct answer is... Okay, I can see all of the interesting answers in the chat already. Well, there you go. That's going to be the N Nelson. Well, guess what? With 100% precision, all the players answer on this question correctly. So, yeah, there you go. That's going to be the N Nelson Nelson Mandela. Next question. Question number six. Good luck. <laughs> Used in mathematics, what is the value of pi to three decimal places? Is that 3.142, 3.143, 3.144, or 3.145? Well, this is really, really interesting one. Honestly, personally, um, 
I knew for a fact that is 3.14 but what is the next four number honestly well if you know let's check it out whatever that is and the correct answer is a 3.14 whoa well there you go 235 plays got that so far very well done guys congratulations just take your time the next one and let's just jump in straight in who hosts the my next guest needs no introduction talk show in Netflix? Is that Al Gorey? Is that Jay Leno? Is Jeremy Kyle or David Letterman? All right, well, there you go. Somebody's watching Netflix a lot, specifically in these days when it's getting colder. All right, but there you go. Let's check it out. What's well, going to be the correct answer? And that is David Letterman. 188 players got that one so far. Not bad at all. Well, that's going to be the quite intense battle, I would say, for the £500, isn't it? Which is going to be shared among all the winners. Let's move on to the question number eight, guys. Who wrote Pilgrim's uh, Progress? Is that William Shakespeare, Geoffrey Chaucer, Johnny uh, Bayon, or Richard Baxter? Well, let's check it out, guys. Best of luck, everyone. And... Don't forget, you can try to use your lifelines as well because they're always available for you. Don't miss that chance. If you don't know the correct answer, use your lifeline, guys. And the correct answer this time is John By uh, Banyan. There you go, guys. Very well done. Very well done. <laughs> Somebody said Vladimir Putin. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, guys. Next question is... In the title of the uh, Buster Keaton film, what is a general? Is that a locomotive? Is that artillery gun? Is that a saloon bar? Or is that a hat? Mm, well, one of those four. A, B, C, or the D, guys. Best of luck, y'all. Mm, Nigel Mandolin. <laughs> okay, well, this is interesting. Well, some of the questions from the past as well. I like your way. And the correct answer, ladies and gentlemen, for this question is it's a locomotive. 105 players got that one so far as well. As you can see, there's less and less players to actually lead all of the board. Well, next question is, which of those uh, domestic animals does not have a breed called Angora? Is it a dog, rabbit, goat, or the horse? All right. Interesting, interesting. Easy to learn, easy to know things. For example, one of the specific question. what I learned today. Well, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, the correct answer is... All right. And that's going to be the dog, guys. That's going to be the dog. 52 plays. Got that one, guys. 55 plays. <clears throat> And once again, what quick, quick, friendly reminder, regardless of all of those lifelines. If you're not sure about the answer, just try to use the lifelines. Let's move on. And the next question is, which pop star posted nude on the cover of their 1988 album, Love Sexy? Oh, my. Is that George Michael? Is that David Bowie? Is that Prince? Or is that uh, Michael Jackson? Well, that is a really nice question play, 57. Uh, well, we started with a very, very easy questions, but there you go. As far as we go, the question is going to get tougher. Let's check it out, the correct answer, and that is a Prince, everyone. 49 plays, got that one so far. We just have four questions away uh, to figure it out. Who's going to get that shit price of the 500 pounds? Good luck, everybody. Everybody, Who married banker Mark Mesvinsky in 2010? Is that Amy Carton? Is that Carolyn Kennedy? Is that Maria uh, Schirver? Or is that Chelsea Clinton? Mm, right, so yeah. A, B, C, or D, once again. <laughs> All right. Interesting, interesting. All of the chat, just bring it on, ladies and gentlemen. And the correct answer is... That's going to be Chelsea Clinton. Chelsea Clinton, not bad at all. And once again, with a 100% precision, all of the 49 plays passing this question straight away. Good luck. What was the real first name of the designer, Coco Chanel? Is that Jean, Simon, Julia, or Gabrielle? Oh, I mean, I love all of them, but surely it's going to be only one correct answer. Good luck, everybody. And it is... All right, we're going to have a bit of an extra time for that. <laughs> All right. And the correct answer is, is going to be Gabrielle. Right, I saw the, somebody, somebody wrote down the correct answer in the chat. Actually, somebody, I thought that somebody's trying to make it fun. Well, there it is, guys. Gabrielle is the one. Two questions away, and the next question is, if you landed at Orlando Airport, which capital city would you be in? Is that Copenhagen, Stockholm, 
Helsinki or Oslo. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. While all this is getting really intense, because as I can see, um, some of the players are really, really close to get that shit price of the £500. Ladies and gentlemen, the correct answer is it's a Stockholm. Very well done, everybody. 46 players got that one so far. And the last question of tonight's show is... All right, guys. Once again, if you still got your lifelines, I'm going to try to shush the audience. Good luck, everyone. Which of these heavy metal singers is born and breed Broomy? Is that Bruce Dickinson, Ian... Gilligan, Steve Harris, or Ozzy Osbourne. All right, well, there you go. Best of luck, guys. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Uh, let's try to win that shit price of the £500. Good luck, everybody. Mm. The correct answer is on the last 15 question. Is it Ozzy Osbourne? There you go, y'all. Congratulations with all of this specific trivia. Who wants to be a millionaire? Well, very nicely done. As like I said, 43 plays got that one so far. If I'm not mistaken, it was around the 600 plays altogether. Very nicely done. And i definitely going to see you some other time. Same time, same place, next time. But at this point of time, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, uh, 43 plays won with £11.62 in their pocket. Not bad at all. Don't forget to try to accumulate even more money by playing Adventures Beyond the Wonderland. But you know what? Everything, everything is in your hands. Thank you very much, everybody. Once again, be here with me. This is the the <laughs> Who Wants to Be a Millionaire live trivia show. And as like I said, I definitely see you some other time. Oh, 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 oh,